Out of all the season pass four characters so far that we have, she is probably the weakest so far. You feel me? And I'm not gonna lie to you when I say that this character should have been in the game since the beginning. This DLC is a snooze fest to be honest with you. You know, I did mention to a lot of people that just wait it out and see how her jutsus are before we actually talk about her. And I've tried her character out and her ninjutsus are just average at best. You feel me? And I feel as if Naruto already is the way better healer in this game as a dlc if anything than sakura is sakura should have been in the game roster since day one at least this version of sakura that is because her ninjutsu doesn't really add anything much to the game at all the only thing i like that we got from this dlc is the accessories and the emotes that we got when it comes on to like her clothing her hairstyle you feel me and the title and whatnot that's what i'm glad that i got from this dlc really the ninjutsus and the ultimate they're pretty average if i'm gonna say so the least you know and even if you don't buy this dlc you won't be missing out anything really because to be honest with you as i said before this dlc is a snooze fest you don't have to buy this <laughs> and her DLC is like one of the most boring DLCs out of all the characters that have been introduced so far into this game. Her ninjutsus are probably the weakest I've seen. That's just me being real to be honest with you. You guys may think differently. But it's as I said before with the Anoki DLC. This one is also a skip. You could not buy this. And you won't be missing out anything. But I'm going to be diving off into what we get with our DLC. So what we get with our DLC is... We get the strength of 100, which is the Flora Cannon. We get the Sakura Outfit last version. We get the strength of 100, Hard Light. We get the 100 Healing Jutsu, we get Shinobi Boo Seals. We get here, Sakura the last, and we get here, Sakura after the Great War. We get Sakura Outfit 3. We get Shinobi Boo Seals, Lobby Action maybe next time. And an honorary title, that being the fifth Disciple. So pretty much that's all we get with her dlc really nothing too special to be honest with you but i'm gonna go in the end to show off the costume the title and the ninjutsus real quick so with that being said let's get it man so here we are in the appearance section in the inn and we get two hairstyles for sakura so we get sakura the last hairstyle and this is how it looks right here you feel me so we get this hairstyle we get sakura after the great war hairstyle as well this was when sakura was back in the hidden leaf village and she was seeing out sasuke when he was going out on his journey so pretty much this is the hairstyle right here that we got for our female cac characters so i really am grateful for the fact that we got two new hairstyles in the game because these were very well needed you know and i'm glad that we have them at long last but let me move on to the title real quick so we can see what's going on with that so this is the title that we get with the sakura dlc and it's called the fifth okage's disciple so in the summary it says she has a very similar temperament to her master who trained her in medical ninjutsu and gave her monster strength upon noting the uncanny resemblance the master's old teammate rarely mused you've raised asanade jr so pretty much this is talking about jiraiya when he and naruto just came back into the village after three years of training and he saw how sakura behaved towards naruto and he told sanade that hey you know you've raised asanade jr over the years you feel me i think he actually mentioned that to sanade or he actually said that in his head so yeah man i really do like that summary you feel me it really describes sakura quite well but we'll move on to showcase the costumes the skills of the costumes and the ninjutsus real quick so with that being said let's get it 
Alright, so here we are when it comes on to the costume. So this is Sakura outfit last battle version. So this is the outfit that she wore when she was facing off against Kaguya. So pretty much for the skills of this costume, we get the top skill Master of Medicine, which boosts health recovery, and the bottom skill being ready and resolute, which reduces ninjutsu damage taken, does not apply to status ailment damage. So pretty much that's what we get for a Sakura outfit last battle version, and this is our it looks like from the front and this is how it looks like from the back so it's pretty identical to the outfit Sakura actually wore in the Great War so let's just move on to Sakura outfit tree so Sakura outfit tree this is the outfit that we get with the DLC also so this is her last outfit that she wore in Naruto the last movie so pretty much the skills of this costume is task the top skill one man army which boosts your close range attack power it only boosts the power of the first strike of a combo and the bottom skill being robust fighter which boosts your max health so pretty much these are the two costumes that we get the sakura outfit tree and the sakura outfit last battle version so let's just move on into the ninjutsus real quick Alright, so here we are in the ninjutsu section right now and the first ninjutsu that we'll be talking about is the strength of 100 hard light So the cooldown time on this technique is 20 seconds and in the summary it says a jutsu that uses the chakra of 100 ninjas to fortify the user's body against powerful attacks can be activated mid attack recover its health if damage is taken just before activation and the recovery of your health is pretty small it's not that big you feel me and not to mention when you have the shield around you you won't be able to get flinched whenever enemies are attacking you but it lasts for a short period of time so this is not really the ideal type of move to use if you're a healer and really and truly it doesn't defend you all throughout the game when it comes on to any mystery and your ninjutsu attacks or heavy attacks or basic attacks because the shield doesn't last long and while they're hitting you you can still take damage even though you can't be flinched so yeah man that's just all i need to say about this really it's pretty average and really and truly i wouldn't advise people to use this too often because it's just useless and i feel as if the body blow for neji is a way better option because it actually blows the enemies off you and like even though you can't be flinched if the enemies hit you it actually blows them away with this ninjutsu it's like an off-brand version of that but it gives you back health but not too much health you feel me and not to remotely mention the fact that it doesn't last that long so that's like some of the downsides to this really and some of the advantages from it the advantage being you can get a little bit of heals from it and then you get a little defense buff when it comes on to you not being able to get flinched if enemies are attacking you but the downside of it is even though you can't be flinched you can still take damage from enemies regardless you feel me and this ninjutsu lasts for a short period of time and it has a long cooldown time but i'm gonna show off a clip of this real quick just to show you guys what it can really do so that being said let's get it real quick Alright, so since we're finished talking about the strength of 100 hard light, I want to talk about the strength of 100 flower cannon. So it has a cooldown time of 20 seconds and in the summary it says, A jutsu that grants allies the chakra of 100 ninjas, increases ally ninjutsu attack power, speeds of ally ninjutsu cooldown time, and recovers user health. So pretty much this does a lot really and it gives you a good amount of health back. So not only does it heal, it actually increases your ninjutsu attack power, it speeds up your ninjutsu cooldown time, and let me tell you man it even gives you a little speed buff too so this is pretty good you feel me this is a pretty good buff and it has a 20 second cooldown time so it's not bad and if you added on something to increase your health like master of medicine for example with sakura's outfit and you use this you can be able to get back a lot more health if anything you feel me so this is pretty good and i do like the skills that we get with sakura's outfits as well because it works really good with her ninjutsus that we get for the dlc so this is one of the highlights of 
the ninjutsus that we get when it comes on to a character cause this move is really good and it's really good in a team based setting too so you can easily be able to like use your other techniques so if you use this and then you pop like a heavy bowler jutsu on your enemies then you know this can be really deadly but um i'm gonna show just a clip of this because i did use it in survival exercise so yeah let's just so let's just show off the clip real quick Alright, so since we're finished talking about the flower cannon, I want to move on to the 100 healing jutsu. So pretty much, it does not one shot. If you made the duration is a 1 out of 5. In the summary it says, it increases user attack power, movement speed, and attack speed, and heals all allies for a set period of time. Input an additional command to activate Cherry Blossom Hurricane and blow away enemies in range. So pretty much, you already know that the original version of Sakura in this game has Cherry Blossom Crash, right, or Clash. So pretty much, that's the move where Sakura jumps up in the ear and actually thumps the ground. You feel me, or? yeah they literally just smashes the ground and then you see the boulders come up you feel me this is a more powerful version of that when you input in the additional attack command to use that version of this of this technique so pretty much that doesn't really one shot but it does a really good amount of damage i can tell you that much and it really works well whenever you stun your enemy and you hold them in place and then you can be able to pull this off so that they can die immediately one of them being either a uh, paralysis seal or paralysis kunai or you can be able to use shikamaru shadow position jutsu and then you can be able to like do the ultimate and then it can be able to one shot them or you could just use a heavy bowler jutsu activate this technique and then you know you can just done them right there and then with this ultimate so the first stage of the ultimate it activates the Byakugo ceiling which heals all your allies give them attack power you know movement speed and attack speed it heals all your allies to almost 100% full health and when you press the up analog on your controller it activates a second version of this technique in which it uses the cherry blossom hurricane and blow away all enemies in range so it's not a one-shot technique but it does a great amount of damage so yeah if you're looking for something that can do great amount of damage and it's close range then this can be the ultimate technique for you so between this and the flower cannon these two moves are like the highlights of the DLC but I'm gonna show off some clips of this real quick just to show you guys what it's capable of so with that being said let's get it real quick all right so here we are right here man we're outside and we get the emo call maybe next time you know where sakura actually does this emo right here you feel me when she did it to sasuke in naruto gating when sasuke was leaving the leaf yet again to go on his journey to find uh kaguya's policy feel me and get some information about yotsuki she actually did this to sasuke you feel me and it seems as if they were gonna kiss at some point but sasuke just said nah i'm just gonna take my leave you feel me but yeah this is the emo that we get right here you feel me and that's all we get really <laughs> so pretty much man i gotta say this much about the dlc the highlight of the dlc when it comes on to the ninjutsus is the 
100 healing jutsu and the strength of 100 which is the flora cannon these two techniques are like some of the best techniques when it comes on to healer types you feel me but I will say that there are other jutsus in the game that does a lot more for you than these two really and it's as I said before that this DLC is pretty average when it comes on to the moves you know and the, there are many healer type jutsus in the game that can be a great substitute for the moves that Sakura has already you know so yeah man it's as I said before you won't be missing out anything too much with this DLC it's pretty average as I said before it's a snooze fest so you won't be missing out on anything too tough or too exciting or too hype you know so yeah man everybody was already not expecting much from this DLC when she was announced for season 4 so yeah man it is what it is though if I'm gonna give this DLC a rating I gotta give it a 6 out of 10 if you feel me gotta drop it to a 6 because it's as I said it's not exciting it's not hype there are many other healer type jutsus that can be a great substitute for sakuras and you won't and even if you don't buy this you won't miss out anything from not buying it sorry if it might seem a bit negative man but let me tell you it's one of the reasons why i put off not recording this dlc review because she's just not interesting if you notice when nagato came out you know i recorded a gameplay for him and a dlc review for him at the same time because i was just that hype for Nagato you feel me because he's unique but with Sakura she's not really that unique you feel me and we already have healers that can make for really great techniques when it comes on to their, their ninjutsus you know and Naruto as I said before in my six parts Naruto video he's the best healer in the game his moves are a great substitute for Sakura's <laughs> so you could buy the Naruto DLC and you can just roll that for the entirety of the game and really and truly you don't have to buy the Sakura DLC at all that's just my two cents if you want to buy the Sakura DLC though you can definitely go for it the way how you get that is by going to Sasuke you know and purchasing the season pass 4 you feel me and when you purchase season pass 4 of Shinobi Striker then you're able to download Sakura's DLC pack for free whenever you go to like special ninjutsu training pack you feel me or season pass 4 you'll be able to see a pack for Sakura once you purchase season pass 4 that is and you click on that and you'll see like a pack for Sakura when it comes on to like your CSE characters and what they can get from the pack and you click on that and you can download it for free so that's how you get the soccer dlc pack but that's all from me guys hope you guys did enjoy the review and if you guys did happen to come across the videos and you really enjoy the content on here please consider to subscribe to the channel to join the dark society and also guys i've been noticing man like when i check my analytics for youtube a lot of people who are watching the content are not subscribed so definitely subscribe guys definitely be sure to subscribe click the bell make sure to select all on that bell so you won't miss a video because that's the only way you're gonna get notified on my videos man because a lot of you guys are not subscribed and you guys are watching the videos so definitely subscribe man if you like what you see and comment in the comment section below how do you feel about Sakura on a whole do you feel as if she was needed in a game like this or do you think that she should have been in the roster since day one comment your thoughts in the comment section and drop a like if you enjoyed the video or dislike whichever suits your preference share as well so other people can be able to check out the content here on the channel and show their support and also um follow me on twitter link to that is down below in my description as well as all my other homies social media links when it comes on to their channels or their social media platforms with all that being said though hope you guys do have a wonderful day thank you all for watching this is dark side excel out peace